Former White House chief strategist Steve Bannon is declaring war against what he calls the Republican establishment. He appeared on 60 Minutes Sunday night in his first TV interview since leaving the White House. And here's some of what he had to say. The Republican establishment is trying to nullify the 2016 election. That's a brutal fact we have to face. The Republican establishment. The Republican establishment wants is trying to nullify the 2016 election. Trying to nullify the 2016 election. Right. Absolutely. Who? I think, I think Mitch McConnell, to a degree, Paul Ryan. They do not want Donald Trump's populist, economic, nationalist agenda to be implemented. It's very obvious. You are attacking, on many fronts, people who you need to help you to get things done. They're not going to help you unless they're put on notice they're going to be held accountable if they do not support the President of the United States. Right now, there's no accountability. They have totally, they do not support the President's program. It's an open secret on Capitol Hill. Everybody in the city knows it. And okay, so, so, therefore, now that you're out of the White House, you go into war with Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Ah, he said it. Well, those remarks caused some backlash in Washington Monday. My colleague Stephanie Sy spoke with CBS News Chief Congressional Correspondent Nancy Cordes and asked her what the response was like on Capitol Hill. Well, there's some uh, disgust, frankly, Stephanie, coming from uh, top Republicans here on Capitol Hill. There was already uh, very little rapport between them and Steve Bannon, and now perhaps there is less. Uh, you know, they say here's a guy who was a lightning rod when he was in the White House, uh, who has not been shy about breaking with the president on certain issues, and yet who seems to deem every other Republican insufficiently loyal to President Trump when they do the same. Uh, beyond that, however, it's not really his criticism that bothers them the most. What it is is uh, his, his reiteration in that interview that he is going to work to unseat several Senate GOP incumbents from states like Arizona and Nevada and Alabama because he doesn't believe that they're conservative enough or haven't been loyal enough to the president. He's going to work for uh, more conservative opponents, try to unseat them in the primaries. And that that is going to force Republicans, Stephanie, to spend more money uh, to prop those incumbents up. This is money that they'd rather be spending against their Democratic opponents. And that's why one top GOP aide uh, told me today that every dollar that Bannon puts into these primaries is a dollar that he's saving the Democrats. And Steve Bannon is very connected um, to some big donors, right? Yes, uh, most notably the Mercer family. Uh, they were big supporters of President Trump, uh, and they are um, uh, they share his worldview when it comes to the kind of populist, conservative candidates that they'd like to see up here on Capitol Hill. Uh, and so they are more than happy to bankroll uh, efforts to get those conservatives elected, even though uh, Republican leaders have made it very clear that they are going to work to try to uh, keep the folks who are already here on Capitol Hill in office. They argue uh, there is not much room for error here. Republicans only have a, a very narrow majority in the Senate especially. And if um, someone from the far right, they argue, were to unseat, let's say, a Dean Heller in Nevada or a Jeff Flake in Arizona, they believe it's possible uh, that a Democrat could then come in and take that seat. And Republican leaders would much rather have a moderate Republican here on Capitol Hill than a Democrat. Yeah, I wonder what Bannon thinks of that. Um, Bannon has been out of the White House, Nancy, for nearly three weeks. Can he still make a difference? And do people, well, maybe you already answered the question of whether he can make a difference, but do people care what he thinks? Uh, well, certainly millions of readers of Breitbart care what he thinks, and uh, those are millions of people who could also turn into donors if this is a cause that uh, they they see eye to eye with Bannon on, and if they uh, want to get the same kind of candidates elected. Breitbart uh, is an operation that has never held back when it comes to targeting uh, certain Republicans on Capitol Hill that, uh, that the people who work at Breitbart don't feel uh, are being sufficiently conservative. And so, yes, Bannon has a, a pretty big weapon at his disposal if he wants to take aim at some of these uh, vulnerable Republican incumbents who are up for re-election in 2018. I remember when he left the White House, he said, I want my weapons back. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Thanks, Nancy. You're welcome.